you know the biggest question that we get all the time is like what but why why do you collect why why do you want to have these dolls i mean it's creepy it's this we hear all these comments um and really truthfully guys i'm here to tell you that you don't owe anybody an explanation um whatever it may be <laughs> it can be whatever you want it what whatever it is is okay if you know as long as you're not harming anyone you have the essentials that you need in your life you know food shelter lights water you know what i mean like you're okay as long as you are not neglecting you know your responsibilities if you're a mother or whatever the case may be you know some of us are mothers and some of us um are empty nesters and some of us don't have kids and you know it's just like the the role play um with the babies and some i didn't put no nothing on this bottle um but some of us, you know, we may decide that we want to, you know, do role play with our babies. We might want to, you know, do the fake feeding. We might want to do changing and dressing and burping and, you know, changing diapers and all that stuff. Whatever that you choose to do, it is okay. It is not weird. It's not crazy. A lot of people are like, oh, why would you sit there and give that baby a bottle? You know that baby is not really drinking and this and that and stuff. Is it bothering anybody? Is it hurting anyone? It just adds to how realistic the dolls look. Um, a lot of times when you see them in real life settings, like in cribs and bassinets and strollers and car seats. It just adds to how real they look. Even if some people buy this stuff just to sit the dolls in and display them that way. It's their choice. If they decide to buy a fancy, you know, glass cabinet and place all their dolls in there and never touch them after they open them up out of the box, that's okay too. That is perfectly okay. Like, no one gets to tell you how to spend your money and enjoy it. And you shouldn't have to apologize for it. And you shouldn't be made to feel bad about it. Um, a lot of people have, you know, different hobbies and things that they enjoy. And I don't see why. I don't see why we should not have the same right. Um, just because it's not something that's, you know, common to the average person. Um, a lot of people say, oh, dolls are for kids. You know, you've outgrown that part. You know, it's a lot of things that probably should be reserved for or technically is reserved for children. But people still do it, you know. And we say that all the time. You know, the biggest thing a lot of people say is video games for men and race cars. and it, But... At the end of the day, as long as we are not hurting anyone, it is perfectly okay. Um, we're not doing anything weird with our dolls. We're treating them like, and when we say treating them like babies, that's another thing. Like, It's like, I try to say I handle them like real babies instead of treating them like real babies. Because that right there makes, that one word makes a big difference. Handling a baby, a doll like a real baby versus treating a doll like a real baby is different. So treating a, babe, a doll like a real baby, meaning I'm getting up in the middle of the night, fake feeding. I'm changing diapers every two to three hours like a real baby. I'm, you know changing their clothes, you know, twice a day. I'm giving them a bath. I'm doing everything. I'm rocking, you know, I'm playing soft music for them. I'm doing every single thing that I would do for a real baby. That's treating them like a real baby. I'm handling them like a real baby is different, meaning the way that I pick them up. I'm careful. One, because it's a very expensive art and you don't want to damage the doll too because they look so real you would 
be very weird if you feel comfortable picking up a, something look this real like it's a rag doll um the other thing is i handle them even when i buy nursery furniture and all that it's my display room it's my hobby it's my hobby room it's my relaxation room i display my babies in here i can't there's no way possible that i can hold every baby in my collection i just like to sometimes come sit in here in the rocker and just look around at all the different beautiful pieces of art rather i you know for me and other artists that i admire work in my collection there's nothing wrong with that now when it comes to role play role play can be anything the change in the diaper the dressing all that is role play it's just different levels now the feeding and all that i don't do that off camera to be honest unless someone is here and i'm showing them to drink and wet or something or if i'm in a you know with a bunch of my collector friends that's different but when I do my videos and I do role play or I do, you know, I give them bottles or I rock them and well, I do hold them sometimes. But, you know, when I'm just being very extra dramatic and, you know, um, with them, you know, fake feeding and uh, making them like they burped and like they pooped and um, whatever else that you know we do as far as role play uh pretending they went to the doctor making up stories giving them fathers and all that stuff um some of y'all need to get your real turn on father but anyway um <laughs> just playing um but it's um it's it's a part of entertainment you know people here coming here and i'm talking now and it's been seven minutes and this baby is just in the same spot that it was when i started the video that can be very boring, to be honest. Like, if that's every the, all I ever did, that would be extremely boring. And I know I do it a lot, so job, this is something. But, you know, I switch it up every now and then. But, you know, it just gives people, you know, something to look at. It's like, like a reality show. Um, no one thinks that it's weird on TV when people do all this fake stuff and they have all this drama going on and then they go to their real lives and, and none of that stuff is real. Even some of these reality shows, some of that stuff is staged to make it more, you know, fascinating to watch, interesting to watch. They, they really boost some of those scenes and stuff because it's entertainment. This is YouTube you know, Instagram, those videos, the TikToks and all that stuff, it's for fun, it's for laughter, it's for entertainment. Sometimes we do stuff that's completely not true to life. And you know you wouldn't do these type things if it was a real baby. Um, you know, like even to down to feeding them water, so much water, newborn babies do not come home from the hospital and drink water. They do not. So anyway, that's all, you know, I wanted to say, you know, just if somebody asks and you don't want to share why you collect, if, if it's a personal reason, then, you know, you can just, just simply say it's my hobby and that's it. You don't have to go into the depths of your life and you, if you had trauma, cause here's the thing, this is the other thing. Everybody has a story to tell. Now, if you lived in a glass bubble and life been great and wonderful and peaches and cream, kudos to you because you're one in a million. But everybody has had some type of trauma, some type of loss or something. And when I say trauma, it doesn't have to be, you know, devastating. But I mean, someone's lost a pet. You know, maybe your dog died, your cat dog died. You, you might have lost your, your, your mother, your grandparents, your, you know, maybe you can't have kids or maybe... You're, you're having a hard time or maybe um, all your kids are grown and, and you miss that and you, you, you know, but you're too old to start all over again. And so you just want to, you know, have that baby feel. You miss shopping for a baby or whatever. That stuff is personal and it's not weird or unusual. 
Um, some people have a lot of people in this world today has anxiety, um, deal with a lot of stress. That is not, you know, it's not like we're some type of victim because we collect dolls. Oh my God, they, they've they've been through things. All of them have something that's this crazy about them because you know they 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 all have have suffered this and suffered that. And the same person that's saying that to you, you can ask them in life. Have you ever had lost someone that you love? Have you ever had a bad breakup? Have you been through a divorce? Do you have kids? Have you ever lost a pet? Like, you know, and I promise you, one of those answers is going to be yes. And maybe they don't play with their dolls. Maybe they don't collect dolls, but maybe they pick up a bottle every afternoon when they get home and drink themselves until they get sleepy. Or maybe they smoke. Maybe they do stuff worse than that. You know, or maybe they have a bad hobby of just switching out in and out partners. You know, maybe they do reading to cope. Maybe they, you know, exercise like more than the average person to cope with whatever stress or for stress relievers. You know, maybe they have a hobby of collecting, you know, wall art or wine glasses or whatever. People have different things that they do to cope with everyday pressures of life or just something that relaxes them and soothes them rather than sitting on the porch watching the birds feed out your bird feeder. You know what I mean? So don't don't let anyone make you feel less than or feel like something is wrong with you because you are collecting and you have may have a story that's different from somebody else's story. There are women in this community that will not openly admit that maybe they've lost, you know, had miscarriages or lost, you know, kids or this, that, and the other because they can't open up about it. They can't talk about it because people are always shaming them. And maybe this kind of gives them a little bit of comfort, not that they think it's real or it's going to replace that. Or be the same but there are parts of this hobby that you can get the enjoyment of and I have five children two grandchildren um, and I can tell you that these babies being so realistic there's so much that you do with them and sometimes it I mean and and this will be any person even people that I've literally took my dolls out and her, had people say why would you hold them like that and I put the baby in their hand the the doll in their hand and and next thing you know they're talking to me and say why do you be holding it like that and I notice that they're, they're they're bumping the baby bottom and I'm like the same reason you bumping that doll bottom and they're like and then they don't refer to the doll as a doll anymore and then it's like uh I guess you're you're right. You know what I mean? Because people, it's easy for them to judge until they actually see it, hold it. It's something in us, especially as women, that are that is naturally nurturing, and we get this feeling when we get these. You know, we have these babies and dressing them. I'm telling you, it is so therapeutic to some people. You know, um, to me, and I literally have so much fun shopping for my dolls <clears throat> sorry I literally have so much fun like just shopping for them dressing them reorganizing their stuff and stuff like that so <clears throat> I'm sorry my my throat is getting dry that mean I'm talking too much um this is probably about my third or fourth video <laughs> but yeah so it is perfectly okay and I, I just feel like if you have a personal reason you don't have to share that you don't have to feel guilty you don't feel like you don't have to feel like you're being and it's not being ashamed of why you collect it's just being this is my business and mine yours it's that type of thing it's the fact that all I need to, you to know is that it's my hobby. I don't need you to know that either. But since I'm a polite person and a decent person. Now if a person comes to me and they ask me and they're really curious. 
and they find it interesting, I will break it down for them. And I don't mind the questions then. But if you come at me like you're, you know, attacking me or trying to make me feel stupid or, you know, just, you know, sometimes people just have, they question you like they're interrogating you or it's just a condescending tone, then just forget it. Don't worry about it. The conversation is over before it even started. I'm not doing that. Um, the thing is, even though I do play with dolls at my big age, I am very much grown and I'm not going to sit and let nobody chastise me for spending my money. You know what I mean? I'm going to spend as much as I want. You know, people, oh my gosh, you didn't spend that much money. You could have, you could have, you could have had a real child. You could have adopted a real child. You can do this. You can do that. You don't know what I may have may or may not have already done. You don't know what I donate to. You don't know what I do in my personal life to even put that out there, to even make those type of statements. People do a lot of judging and we all judge. Don't get me wrong. We all got something to say. And it's just a matter of are we making it public of what we got to say? Are we talking amongst our friends or are we saying it you know, with our family and our household or we're just thinking it? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to say I don't judge. Some stuff I see, I'll be like, girl, now, baby, you did what? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. I don't do that with my dolls, but okay. If that's what you want to do over there, you know, just remind me not to buy nothing that you ever owned. You know what I mean? Like, I might have those same conversations to myself. Not to myself. Oh, okay. That, yep, she says she talks to herself too. Note that. No, but I might have that conversation. I might say it with one of my friends in the community. But... I'm not going to bash people for how they choose to be happy. And that's all I got to say. I'm about to go. That's all, period. Because <laughs> my battery is about to die. <laughs> um, and we will talk later. And I hope you guys enjoy the chat. I hope you enjoy your hobby. And have a fabulous, fabulous day. Bye, y'all.